Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. So, um, I don't have time to do a screen capture, but also it's Facebook. I feel like Twitter is speaking in a public, you know, gathering place. Facebook is more like you're in the front yard at a block party. Like, yeah, people can wander by and overhear your conversations. But, um, so anyway, so, uh, it's funny. The comic book industry always provides. I was like, I really ain't got shit to say about anything right now. Oh, here comes uh, old Dave Johnson. So Dave Johnson and Andy Smith got into it. More specifically, Dave Johnson uh, tried to organize a lynch mob to ostracize Andy Smith from the comic book industry because Andy Smith made a dad joke on Facebook. I can't believe a couple things here. I can't believe... People are still arguing politics on freaking Facebook. Like, seriously, that's still going on? And it was like 200 comments on one, 500 on another. And then people are getting all down in the weeds if it's like, oh, well, uh, Plessy versus Ferguson. It's like, what the fuck? This is Facebook. You, put, you go fishing and you catch something and you, what? Okay, fine, whatever. People are still, all right, that's still a thing, apparently. Um... I uh, also am, okay, so the they're discussing a nuanced, complicated situation, which I was barely aware of, and I did, you know, five minutes of investigation. So um, migrants, whether they are uh, asylees or just, you know, applying for immigration visas, are being bussed from Texas and I believe Arizona to several sanctuary cities in America. Sanctuary cities say that they will not cooperate with ICE, Immigration Customs Enforcement, and um, predictably, it's not remotely as simple as it's initially described. Uh, the news, the mainstream media at first made it sound like, you know, they're like, oh, get on this uh, bus, and then they just like lock the doors and they don't let you out till you get to Martha's Vineyard, 1,800 miles away. Turns out, literally CNN, you know, on the article says, this was an invitation, and yes, you were allowed to get out in cities in between there and the sanctuary city. Um, uh, there's uh, another side issue of the people on the bus were lied to, although it seems like it's a troll bit where... The people on the bus were told the things that the people in these sanctuary cities said. So it's, I, I in general don't like it. I don't, I, I know this, this Matt Walsh, this stupid thing with the freaking Little Mermaid. They're like, oh, you just didn't get it. It was a troll bit. It's like, I, did you think I thought that translucent skin rights activist was a real thing? I knew it was a joke. It's an unfunny joke. And I knew he was trolling. I also know he's in his 40s, and it's the year 2022. Like, people are still trolling? Seriously? What's next? Kissing pranks in the hood? Gone wrong? Gone sexual? Like, you're just going to bring back every day? Are planking? Is planking coming back? So anyway, um, so Andy Smith, uh, I don't know if he made, I think he just shared a dad joke where these white people are dressed like stereotypical, you know, Halloween costume Mexicans and they're like, oh, we're trying to get a free ride to Martha's Vineyard. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, people. People are sharing dad jokes on Facebook in 2022. That's apparently a thing. Um, it's not done. This is the funniest thing. So there's two threads. One's 200 and one's 500. Now, in the one with 500 people, there's more than one, you know, Hispanic person in there. The funny thing is in the one with 200, I think there was only one or two and it was with just one guy He's like, I'm Hispanic. I'm, I'm not offended. In the Marines specifically, um, we would, you know, say things just to offend the other person, just to basically test out, like, are you really such a baby? You're going to get offended by words. One time someone said something so offensive that I honestly thought I was going to witness a murder. Um, but there was no murder. The other person just laughed and then the, 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 both parties just laughed and they got over it. That was, that was the thing about the Marines. You would constantly you know, antagonize people to uh, test them, whether they had it, whether they were going to start crying or tattletale or whatever, lose their uh, uh, composure. Um, and that got me in a lot of trouble when I started the channel <laughs> because I would do stuff like that. Um, but uh, 
Mexicans always won that game. Mexican Americans, Hispanic Americans in general, they won that game. You could not offend them. You, somebody would launch the most barbed attack imaginably, like, oh, he's going to get mad. He would laugh and then he would double down on it. He's like, you, okay, that was good. I've heard that one before, but you missed this angle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so uh, just, you know, just seeing a group of people that specifically tried to make each other angry to test each other and seeing that Mexican Americans specifically were the champions at never being offended by anything. Um, uh, I noticed a couple of things. Number one, both of these threads, the people getting offended were being offended on the part of Hispanics. It was very few actual Hispanics being um, actually offended. And when they were offended, it was very performative. It's like, I'm glad you find my ethnicity humorous well you know obviously he's making a dad joke about the situation it's not just like ha ha mexicans which by the way like racial quote humor that was that bad like i like this movie called saving silverman it's from like 20 years ago like way past the middle of the uh movie they introduce an asian character and the joke is that he's asian and even like at the time, 20 years ago, you're like, okay, there's gonna be another joke. No, he's Asian and he has an Asian accent. And that was, you were just supposed to find that hilarious. Um, but it's not funny, it's not fun. <laughs> uh, that being said, um, uh, the person who started this lynch mob and got the ball rolling, a couple things. He's been doing this shtick forever. He's been doing this for a long time, basically as long as social media existed. And he's in his 50s, his target was in his 50s. The people joining in on the lynch mob were mostly from their 40s to 70s. And there was at one point where he said something, he's like, well, you know, since you're being ostracized, you have to assume that you're bad because if you weren't bad, why would you be getting ostracized? Well, because the um, comic book industry specifically is full of very immature people who were bullied at one time and when they get the smallest bit of power, uh, they then bully each other. There was this whole thing about Barcon in the last year or so, and they're like, oh, there's a lot of, you know, uh, attacks and assaults there and harassment. So uh, Barcon is, you know, we need to do away with Barcon. They just started calling it networking. <laughs> it's, it's still going on. Barcon did not stop it. They just stopped calling it Barcon. But there was Barcon, you know, you know, one was, you know, uh, treating it like it was, you know, an open air dating, you know, uh, scenario. And the other thing, it's like, oh, you know, that guy, he voted for Trump. Nah, 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 nah. Now you used to have to, you know, wait till you went to a convention, you know, a couple times a year to do that. Um, but professionals like, well, Jesus, humans, <laughs> it's hard to call them professionals when they're engaging in mean girls, you know, tactics from fricking middle school is they realize that you don't have to wait for that convention, you know, where you meet up with people and you're like, oh, you know, Andy Smith, uh, he's one of those comic skaters and he said this, no, it's every day. You can hurt people and stir up a lynch mob every day. The thing that was so scary to me is how little people need it. If this is a dumb dad joke. To say that it's racist, I saw some real stretches and it's like, well, it's racist because you're laughing at their plight. I think it's laughing at a lot of things. I think it's laughing especially at performative allyship. I saw specifically in Martha's Vineyard, which is, you know, a very rich uh, community, where these people were getting angry that, you know, immigrants were dumped on them, but then pretending like, oh, we're a sanctuary city. We love this. We welcome you. And then saying, we're also not prepared for this. Bro, like your average salary in that town, it's gotta be, it's gotta be at least 300,000. And y'all can't handle a couple, you know, hundred immigrants, like really? Um, so I do understand that irony factor, but I don't really like trolling when it, well, I don't like trolling at all, especially when it involves humans, but even CNN is saying that this was a voluntary, you know, uh, free bus ticket. Um, so, but it's not about that. It's about the idea that you're supposed to follow these rules in the mainstream comic book industry. And if you follow these rules, you are part of the group. You're part of the in-group and you benefit from 
you know, that membership. But what we find is there is a constant need for enemies, which means that you can be loyal to this in-group for decades and literally like one joke or one association or one friendship and you're out. And, you know, if the original poster, you know, that was uh, putting Andy Smith on blast, if he wanted to go back and forth with him in his, you know, Facebook thread, okay, that's fine. But it's, it's a pattern of behavior of, you know, saying like, oh, look at this person. He's a bad person. Don't you like, uh, don't you not like this bad person? And uh, by the way, if you even hint at thinking he's not bad, if you say, eh, you know, it's just a joke, it's one joke, then you become ostracized too. My point is that there's no benefit if you can be kicked out of this group so easily over essentially nothing then why are you joining it? Um, also, when, you know, there's, there's not steady work in comics. There's, ooh, you got, you know, an annual, then six months later, you got two issues in a row, and then let's sprinkle in, you know, four or five variant covers throughout the year. And that would actually be considered, like, the middle of, you know, success. Actually, it'd probably be above average success. I see people call themselves professionals, and they're doing two variant covers and one eight-page, you know, anthology for gay, you know, Inuits, uh, you know, in wheelchairs, Marvel anthology. Um, and uh, my point is that it's a very immature industry full of bullies. And to join in these in-groups, it, it's just, you know, you got you to gotta be lockstep forever. And now I can kind of understand from a very mercenary point of view if it's like, well, you know, I just join in on these lynch mobs and I keep my mouth shut and whenever I think differently I just don't say it and you're gonna do all that for three variant covers a year really why don't you just do your own thing Andy Smith as far as I can tell is doing solidly in crowdfunding over multiple years and um, you look at the people in the industry and they're doing GoFundMes for freaking rent money for every single bill they have so uh, what I'm trying to say is don't follow the rules of a group of bullies when there's no actual, you know, reward for it. There's no stability for it. I think potentially, or not potentially, I think there was, you know, 20, 30 years ago, it's like, hey, you keep your mouth shut, you just pretend you think the same as everyone else, don't rock the boat, you know, and you can, you know, have a steady, if not spectacular career. That's all gone. It's all gone. This was a very mild dad joke. There was no reason to spend an entire you know day forming up a lynch mob. And again, nobody like defended him. Nobody was like, I don't like this joke, but I've known him for 30 years. No, it, they'll drop you. They know you for 30 years. One joke and somewhat another peer is like, oh, hey, we're, ostr we're ostracizing this person. Every single one of them will join in on it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.